up Casey gang it's your girl Kia Shantra and I'm back here with another video getting to it getting through it with the Casey gang 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 all right what's up y'all today is Tuesday it is December 29th um three days before New Year's enjoying your break from school work if you took off and I just hope y'all are just having fun with your family you know during the holidays um make sure y'all stay safe whatever it is you do wear a mask if you go out and just stay protected because this ain't no joke y'all but yes um since you're here today i'm going to be doing my makeup and doing a story time for y'all the story time is about the time i almost broke my neck and i thought i was paralyzed oh my lord jesus <laughs> So yeah, um, I'm not no professional makeup artist, so I don't be doing no fancy full face beats. I'm not gonna be doing it today. Just gonna be touching on my eyebrows, not even drawing them on, and um, be putting on my lashes. So yes, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and share this video with your friends and your family, your uncle, your auntie, granddaughter, your grandson, your grandma, your grandpa, cousins, sister, brother, y'all get the point. Just share this video, share it with your ops, share with your ops, but just get more people to come join the KC gang, and let's get into it. So back in ninth grade um i was on the varsity cheerleading team in my high school and i don't think i didn't anyway <clears throat> back in ninth grade i was on the varsity cheerleading team in my high school and so it's just a regular day at your practice but i'm gonna say we had like tumbling practice so this is my first year being part of a competitive cheer team and also I don't really know how to tumble just not learning and so this day I was working on my tuck so after we get done doing the warm-ups all together as a team now it's time to break up individually go work on what you need to work on whether it's your in the back handspring tuck running tumbling whatever so me, I'm working on a tuck, right? And so when you're working on your tuck, when you like first learning how to do it and stuff, they got you, they have you doing it into the pit. So that's where I was. And if you know me, you know I'm clumsy already as it is. Like I would trip over nothing. But so anywho. I'm just repeatedly doing this over and over again, tucking into the pit. So, I don't know. I don't know if somebody didn't want to be great this day. Somebody or something. But, baby, they had it out for me fast. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, anyway, so, it's t I'm just basically repeatedly going back and forth into the pit, you know, um, cause I ain't trying to be at the back of the routine bending over like this cause I can't tumble. So I'm trying to get my life together. I'm trying to do my life right and learn how to do a little simple tuck. So doing a little chant at the part at where it'll be time for the tuck to be inserted at. So I went fine until this one particular time that I decided to do a tuck. So, oh, also, pause. Don't be trying to get on me if I'm using the wrong brushes or the wrong method or none of that. Because like I said, I'm not a professional. But anyway, so it's time for me to go again. And so as I'm going... You know, when you get ready to do a tug, how some people have like the little, it's like get claps with it and stuff. So that's what I'm doing. And so I 
I'm trying to do the technique that they tell me to do. So I'm first thing I'm thinking about is setting when I go up. When it's time to jump, set, jump as high as you can, have them on straight. When you get to the top, like you go back and bend your legs and you bring your knees to your chest and all of that. So I'm 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 thinking about all of that, trying to do all of that and get it right. So I set and I brought my knees to my chest. I don't know if I didn't slip, if I didn't what. But I just know I, I, I was in there and my legs, knees came to my chest. But now I'm coming down. But I guess I wasn't coming down the right way. <laughs> I thought I was just about to be like any other time. I'm just about to land in a little soft little cushion things. But no, I landed in there. But it wasn't, wasn't the angle I thought it was going to go. So I'm coming down out the air, right? Did not think I close by the edge of the pit. Or anything. Must ain't have no jump back thing. Cause uh. That beat me. I comes down. And when I come down. The only thing I feel is my neck. <laughs> Literally. That's all I feel. And I'm just like. I'm gone. Like I just. I just knew it was over with. Right then and there. I just knew it and I'm just I'm just sitting there like I'm literally just stuck. Oh! 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 <laughs> Trying to figure out what the hell just went on. <laughs> but so anyway, one of my team members seen me. So she came over there, she was like, Kiki. Cause that that's what they call me. Well, that's what she called me. Um but yeah, she ran over there towards me and she was like, are you okay? And I was like, oh no, no, help me, please help me out. I can't, I can't feel nothing. Oh, help! My leg! <laughs> and so she helped me out. She grabbed my hand and she pulled me out. And um, they ended up calling my mama and she had to come get me and I went to the hospital. Still thinking I'm paralyzed and all I'm scared because I don't know what. Because I'm just like, oh my goodness, my neck hurt. I ain't never felt that type of pain. Like, how did it not snap? Is the question. But yeah, like, it was like one of my scariest experiences. And so, when I get to the hospital, I can't remember everything, but I know, like, it wasn't, like, no fracture. Wasn't none of that. Wasn't none too serious. It was just hurting. Telling me to rest it. I couldn't cheer for, like, a little, little bit. Because my neck was still, like, this literally out. I was just walking around with a stiff neck. And after that, I was just, like, after that, I have been so horrified of pits. Like, the next three years, it took a long time for me to get back on the pit. I kid you not. When we would go to Tumblr after that, I was not <laughs> that pit. I probably did not get back into another pit until 11th or 12th grade. Because I was, yeah, I got tired of being scared. But before that, baby. You weren't getting the key. key. <laughs> you weren't getting me to get back in the pit. Because who? Did you not see what happened the last time? You got knocked the fuck out. Mm -mm. I don't do that. I did not do that at all. Got me. <laughs> got me messed up. But, um, so, yeah, that's the story. And since. I told it quicker than I did my makeup. I'm just going to come back when I'm done and show y'all the finished results. So right here, I just decided to go ahead and show y'all the rest of how I did my eyebrows. So here's a time lapse on that. And yeah, nothing too much. I told y'all I don't draw more and just put on concealer. Then I put on a dark and concealer so I can blend it in with my skin. And yeah, back to the video right about now. Back 
and I'm done with my eyebrows now so it is time for me to put on my lashes and I said to let y'all see this so yeah um glue I'm gonna be using for my lashes this is this glue I got from the hair store um it's the super strong hold and it dries clear as you guys see that so yes these are the lashes I'm going to be wearing today. Okay, so I am now officially done with my look. Um, I just, like I said, touched on my eyebrows and put on my lashes. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. See you in the next time.